Do you love Pinot? Do you like Chilean wines? If so, stay tuned. Action! Welcome. My name is Bo Armandaris, AKA the Vino Golf Pro. And today we are going to the Southern Hemisphere. We're going to Chile, where they make fantastic wines. And one of the most forgotten grapes in Chile is Pinot Noir. Now Pinot Noir in Chile has been a little bit of a, a challenge because in the beginning when they started making Pinot, it was really green. Uh, the uh, the Pinot was relatively new, and but now now that they have become better at making Pinot Noir, the the Pinot coming out of Chile is 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 pretty good. the The Pinot we're gonna try today is the Ritual Pinot from Chile, Casablanca Valley. One of the things that attracted me to this wines is 93 points. James Suckling, I'm a big James Suckling fan. I believe he, he, his, his ratings for traditional classic varietals and, and classic regions like, like Burgundy and France are just spot on. So I was really intrigued when I saw the 93 points from James Suckling on this wine. This wine rolls in at 18 bones, 18 bucks. So we're gonna find out if this Chilean Pinot brings the thunder. The first thing I notice is All right, nice bottle, big bottle. It looks like it's relatively marketed to the U.S. market, just based on the just the bottle. Um, it's very uh, American style, so uh, the the production of this wine looks like it's more targeted towards Americans, uh, to towards the U.S. I should say. And we'll see if that if the the look of the bottle and the feel of it translates into more of a U.S. market. Let's check it out. Look at the color first. The first thing I notice is it's a burgundy color. It's a traditional Pinot Noir color. It's not too light and it's not too dark. It's a uh, very traditional um, burgundy with a uh, light rim. It uh, you can see through it, so it's not broody. It's not dark. It's a very traditional burgundy Pinot Noir color. Let's give it a sniff. I'm getting straight up barnyard on this nose. I mean, for those of you who grew up in my neighborhood in Fort Worth, this is straight up stock show stuff here. I mean, it's got a little, it's a little poopy action going on, but that's okay. I don't mind that, that earthy poopy nose because I know that that's going to translate into a little bit more of a, of a interesting wine. It's going to have more, uh, a little bit more uh, minerality, uh, secondary secondary flavors on the palate. So I really, I kind of like the poopiness of this wine. Underlying dark strawberry. Dark strawberry and barnyard. So take some strawberries and, and uh, if you had a if you had a bouquet of strawberries in your barn, that's what this wine would smell like. Let's give it a whirl. And for those of you who don't know, no spit, spit bucket for this kid. Homie, don't play that. I'm surprised by this wine and in a good way. I will tell you that. I am very surprised by this wine because this wine is very Burgundian. And Burgundian meaning like it's very true to Burgundy, like older style, it's an older style, um, old world style Pinot Noir. Meaning that it's not over extracted, it's not round, it doesn't have too much jam or fruit like some of the, uh, some of the domestic wines we have here. 
it's very traditional in style. I'm getting this really, really, it's still with me right now. I'm getting this really nice tannin structure, nice acidity. Let me take another whirl. Pom pom, pom. The the pomegranate juice that you drink, the, the I'm talking about the concentrate, not the not the flavored stuff with the sugar in it. I'm talking about straight up pom, pomegranate, con, con, you know, pomegranate juice. That's the that's what I'm getting this one. Nice acidity, dark strawberry, nice soft tannins are there, and then I'm getting this nice little. Thanksgiving action, I call it, with the cranberry coming on the back end, a little tart cranberry, a little cranberry relish on the back end. That's really nice. This is a fantastic wine. I think James Suckling has really hit this on the nose. I'm going to go 91 points in this wine. 91 points because I think it's a wine, it, it has some legs. You can, you can lay down this sucker for five to 10 years with no problem. Nice acidity. It's gonna, it's a perfect Thanksgiving wine. So actually you can have it in a lot of situations with some uh, turkey, uh, some uh, more like poultry dishes. Uh, as far as like going steak with this wine, you could, don't get me wrong, but it's more, more towards like a pork or a, a poultry, poultry dish, or maybe a, a, a pasta dish. Uh, this would, this wine would go great with, uh, with those, with those uh, dishes. Great wine, 91 points. Question for you guys. What Pinot Noir are y'all drinking? Once again, thank you for joining me. Love you guys. Hope everybody is doing well out there.